Hi, my name is Charissa and I'm an engineer here at Keysight Technologies. I'll show you techniques on how to improve your signal analyzer sensitivity when the signal amplitude is close to or below the noise floor of the instrument. In some cases, optimizing sensitivity adversely affects the sweep rate of the analyzer, so I'll also discuss techniques to improve the sweep rate, which is especially important for spurious and harmonics testing. I'm using the Keysight N9010B EXA X-Series Signal Analyzer. The EXA is your first best choice when you need maximum value in signal analysis all the way up to millimeter wave frequencies. It helps you find the answer faster, whether you're seeking tighter design margins or shorter test times. The X-Series Signal Analyzer family now also offers a streamlined multi-touch user interface and it's been optimized so that you can select your measurement parameters in two touches or less. Through a superior user experience and enhanced performance, the X-Series signal analyzers are the industry's benchmark for accessible performance. First, let's take a look at a simplified block diagram showing a typical signal analyzer with the analyzer's input terminated in a 50 ohm load. The equation on the top shows the parameters used for calculating the noise floor. I will discuss how to improve your sensitivity by making adjustments using the following techniques. The input attenuation, resolution bandwidth, pre-amplifier, and using noise floor extension, which is a built-in noise reduction algorithm unique to the X-Series signal analyzers. So before I get started, I'd like to show you two new features that we've added to our multi-touch X-Series analyzers. First, we've added a nice, easy-to-use trace settings table. I'm able to quickly activate in this SA mode up to six traces at a time. And also, we've added a new marker settings diagram. I can quickly access the diagram and turn on up to 12 markers. And what I've done is, is I've uh, turned on five markers and then applied them to each of the five traces that I've also turned on. So now we're in basic SA mode. I have a 6 gigahertz center frequency and a span of 50 megs. The input attenuation is set to 10 dB. The resolution bandwidth is 1 megahertz. The preamplifier and noise floor extension are off. Please notice the sweep speed of 1 millisecond on the bottom right. Marker 1 is at the center of the trace and we have a reading of minus 78 dBm. First, let's see what happens when I drop the input attenuation from 10 dB down to 0 dB. I have easy access using our measurement bar to common measurement settings. My attenuation setting is here, and I'll change that to 0 dB. I've set marker 2 onto trace 2, and we're getting a reading of minus 88 dBm. By dropping the attenuation by 10 dB, we actually will drop the noise floor by 10 dB as well. And you can see that our sweep speed is still at one millisecond. The downside to decreasing the analyzer's input attenuation is an increase in the analyzer's input voltage standing wave ratio, as the downconverting mixer is now directly exposed to the analyzer's input. Caution must be observed when removing front end attenuation, as it is possible to overdrive the analyzer's mixer resulting in compression and IF overload. So next, I'll go ahead and change the resolution bandwidth setting from 1 megahertz to 100 kilohertz. This is a reduction by a factor of 10. And now you can notice that the noise floor has also dropped by a factor of 10. We're now sweeping at 50.4 milliseconds versus the previous one millisecond sweep speed. So a reduction in the resolution bandwidth setting does affect your sweep speed. Often, when you're looking for low level spurs, it is necessary to balance the trade-offs between sweep speed and your displayed average noise level. The new fast sweep feature in the EXA allows you to lower your RBW, thus lowering your noise floor while still sweeping quickly. Another technique to improve sensitivity is to use the analyzer's internal pre-amplifier. The internal pre-amplifier can greatly improve analyzer sensitivity and one might ask the question, why not use the internal pre-amplifier all of the time? The answer is that if you're measuring high-powered signals in the presence of low-powered signals, 
and the preamplifier is turned on, then you can compress or overload the analyzer's mixer, resulting in distortion of your measurement. So I'll go ahead and turn on the internal preamp and we'll see the tremendous improvement in sensitivity. So now you can see there's a low level spur popping up at marker four. We're getting a reading on that marker of minus 110 dBm. Notice that when you use the internal preamplifier, the sweep speed doesn't change. Using the internal preamplifier does not slow down your measurement. To even further improve your sensitivity, you can use a feature that is unique to Keysight's X-Series signal analyzers, noise floor extension. I'll go ahead and turn that on. When using noise floor extension feature, you can actually subtract the noise contribution of the analyzer from your measurement real time. The instrument stores internal algorithms that are applied and automatically updated even if you change your settings, including frequency, resolution, bandwidth, span, and even detector types. Noise floor extension can improve your sensitivity by up to 10 dB. The trade-off with using noise floor extension is that for optimal accuracy, some averaging is required which can slow down the overall measurement time. So using the average detector can provide a large amount of averaging in the optimum measurement time. And you can see now that we clearly have a low level spur peeking out above the noise floor that's sitting at about minus 120 dBm. I've just demonstrated four techniques on how to improve your analyzer sensitivity. It's important to understand how these settings affect your analyzer sensitivity and to understand the trade-offs when you're trying to balance dynamic range, sensitivity, as well as sweep time. For more information, please see application note 150 and thanks for watching.